Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. Ahead. She is of no use to us now, but she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago, but the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again! I didn't do it! <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch-capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the Earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the President gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. 
Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, what's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Are you all right? Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The President. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on! We have to get moving! This place will be flooded soon! Swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim! I can't keep my eyes open in the water. That endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma. Just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma. I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest, and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. 